Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be running through how to get Home Assistant running locally on a Sonoff NS Panel Pro. Now, I was going to take you through the 30 minute process of sideloading various apps, all outlined by Blackadder in his super detailed instructions. And if you'd like to see that video, then let me know in the comments below. However, there is a much simpler method, it takes a few minutes, works extremely well, works with externally via the cloud or locally via your internal network and does not require any dismantling of the device or sideloading of apps or terminal commands. So let's have a look at the product. The NS Panel Pro is a fabulous little device with a bright, responsive 3.95 inch capacitance display with a resolution of 480 by 480 that supports multi-touch. This unit can support 100 to 240 volts, so it will run equally as well in America as it does in England or Australia. Connectivity is provided by Wi-Fi 802.11n for quick data transfers, Zigbee 3.0 to allow for future compatibility, and Bluetooth to round off the full trifecta. The processing is provided by an A35, packing four cores to provide snappy response. The unit measures 86 by 86 by 39.5 millimeters, so it should be compatible with a lot of standard mountings. Now, if all that wasn't enough in such a small unit, there's a built-in sensor to automatically adjust the screen brightness, a microphone, and a speaker. And you get all that for 7790 USD. And if you use the links in the description, you'll get a further 10% off that price. Now that's a bargain. Now we're going to be covering accessing your Home Assistant instance through the browser on the NS Panel Pro. For this, we'll be using Nabu Casa for your external internet access. Then we'll create a separate tile on your NS Panel Pro for your local access over your network. The process is exactly the same for both. The only variation is the address that we'll be using for the external access will be Nabu Casa address, where the local access will be the internal IP address and will cover the most often errors people make around this. Assuming that you have downloaded the EWE Link application, links in the description for both Android and iOS. Go into Settings, Home Assistant Cloud, go into the section for the remote control, and where it says Nabu Kazar URL, right click and copy link. Now open up a notepad and copy your link into that notepad. For privacy purposes, I've obviously changed my address here. Now I'm going to assume that you have turned on your NS Panel Pro and have done the basic setup. Now let's add the NS Panel Pro to your account. Open the app on the NS Panel Pro, log in. It will present you with a QR code. Back on the application, press the plus in the top right hand corner, press scan. Now use the camera in your device to scan the QR code. The NS Panel should be detected. Add it to a room if you wish and press done. Next, select your NS Panel Pro. Search for and select the web pages icon. Press add. For the name, we'll enter in Home Assistant External. In the URL field, type in your Nabu Kaza address, making sure to change the HTTP to HTTPS. When you have finished typing in your URL and press return, it will not be displayed. However, it is still there. Now press save. Now by swiping to the left on your NS Panel Pro, you should be able to see the web pages available and your Home Assistant external tile will be displayed. If you click on this tile, it should now take you to Home Assistant. You'll be presented with the standard login screen. Type in your username and password. Now let's navigate to our specific NS Panel Pro dashboard. Press the hamburger in the top left hand corner. Select your NS Panel Pro dashboard. So now we want to set that this is the default dashboard for this device. Hamburger in the top left hand corner. Scroll to settings. Scroll to dashboards. Select your Panel Pro. Select as default on this device and press update. Now you can go back, press the hamburger, and go to your NS Panel Pro. I'll take you through how to display these dashboards. This one has been specifically custom into relation to the NS Panel Pro. First one shows the weather, then I move across into my lighting card, then I can press the back arrow, go across into my camera feeds. I can go into the lighting directly. I can display gauges for the temperatures, or I can display the humidity card. Now let's add Home Assistant via the local IP address. Press the plus in the top right hand corner. Give it a name. For the URL, 
Remember, this is going to be a local, and unless you have a secure token ID, you'll be typing in the HTTP, not the HTTPS. Now press save. Back on our panel, the second tile has appeared for Home Assistant local access. You can now follow the same instructions to be able to set this up for default access. In the demonstration, I showed you access into the NS Panel Pro dashboards. Specifically for these dashboards, I'd recommend that you make them so that they're only in a square format. They're going to be represented on a 480 by 480 pixel panel. Therefore, when you're designing your dashboards, you need to factor this in and make sure the representation on the screen is only in a square format. So that's Home Assistant running both locally and over the internet on an NS Panel Pro. Super quick and although fiddly typing a long alphanumeric password on a very small keyboard, you can complete this in five minutes. Top tip, remember to press the save password on the login screen to avoid having to do this again if the device is powered down or if there's a power cut. I mentioned in the intro, there is a way of side loading apps into the panel. This does have several advantages, such as the ability to use kiosk mode or taking advantage of auto screen wake feature instead of having to touch the screen to wake it. This is a much longer process, which takes about 30 minutes and does involve some technical knowledge to achieve. If you'd like me to cover this in a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Links and discount codes to the NS Panel Pro are in the description. If you didn't get one for Christmas, then maybe consider buying yourself one as a New Year's present. If you enjoyed this video, then consider joining the community and dinging that bell, or even buying me a coffee. Links in the description. Don't forget to like and share, and I'll see you on the next one.